So what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Drive Miami. Today, uh, unfortunately, my radiator had cracked. Um, not down the physical radiator, uh, but on the seam of it where the plastic is. And now I gotta fix that too. It's my luck. It's uh, for your enjoyment. It's my headache. So stay tuned. Hope you like the video. Just a heads up of what's going on right now. Um, the motor decided to, uh, not the motor, but the radiator decided to crap out on me. Um, so we gotta fix it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace the radiator um, and see what else we could find. Maybe we could fix too while we're at it. Since we're already here, might as well do some stuff. Um, so stay tuned, let's see what's up. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. So we're gonna start off with the basics. You gotta take off this piece right here. As soon as we take off this piece right here, you guys go ahead and let's take out the air box just uh, so we don't have any issues or at least this. Uh, what we have to do is actually, first things first is go ahead and disconnect this uh, this uh, fan clutch um, and then take this out too, which is the the, the, the fan shroud. So uh, once we take all that stuff out and I'll get back to some, we'll go ahead and hit a time lapse of that. So uh, now that we got the air box and all that stuff out the way, the next thing to do is uh, go ahead and take out all the fluid that's in the, the the radiator. In order to do that, it's right under here. You're gonna see a blue screw. This one right here. This one pretty much you stick a screw in there and then turn it. Obviously, this is not it, but you stick you stick a screw in there and you turn it, and it should turn over. So we got the radiator cap off, and now it should be draining. Excuse me if I don't get a good angle, but it should be draining. <coughs> so I'm just gonna wait for that to drain and then um, we'll go from there. All right, so we went ahead and uh, disconnected, uh, like I said, drained uh, the radiator fluid. So let me just show you the hoses we need to take out just so you guys know exactly what needs to be taken out. All right, so what we're taking out is this, uh, this hose right here, which is connected to the lower portion of the expansion tank. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect these uh, clips right here and pull this away from the expansion tank as well. And uh, also under there, there should be a clip under the expansion tank that you kind of pull on and then uh, the whole expansion tank itself should come right up. All right, for the upper portion of the hose, there's little clips here. You just go ahead and stick the screwdriver in here and pry them upward. And once they're up, that, that means uh, they're, they're pretty much unlocked. There should be another one here, smaller one. And you just, like I said, pry it upward. And tips this guy wants to cooperate. There. Simple as that. We're gonna go ahead and also do this one on the bottom right over here, just to take all, just to relieve all, all the clips already. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but uh, that's something I just do anyways. There. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. It should come straight out. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let me just make sure everything's out of the line. And so we're just gonna pull this up and away so it's out of the way. So next up on the list, we gotta pull this one out. Same concept, nothing different. There we go. Come on. That's of course if it doesn't want to be a bitch or anything like that, but right now it's uh, yeah, 
It's uh, being a little bitch. Just a little bit. There we go. So that sucker's out as well. Now, where the hell did the clip go is the question. Alright, so there's a few things you need to take out. It's hard to see, but this right here is directly, we're looking directly under the expansion tank. The expansion tank connects right over here. Also has a level sensor right here that you need to disconnect. And um, if I remember correctly, it should have a transmission thermostat inside this little bugger right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and like I said, pull the little plug and pull the clip and pull it out. Just so you guys know, I already unclipped it from the bottom. Um, what I need to do now is physically pull this expansion tank out. Uh, like I said, unclipped it from the bottom, disconnected the level sensor, which is a little plug that's directly under the expansion tank, and let's pull it out. It should be um, relatively easy, I think. Oh, there you go. Got it. I think at least. Yep. And it's out. Got the expansion tank out. Next up is the next step, of course. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect the um, the fan shroud and the fan clutch, and on to the next one. All right, so check it out. To take out the fan clutch, um, you need a special 32 millimeter tool. Uh, that tool in specific is just a wrench, like pretty much a long wrench. It's a um, AKA big ass wrench. Uh, <laughs> big ass wrench uh pretty much hooks on directly to the 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 fan clutch and uh you stick it in i don't have the puller tool that holds on to the pulley so i have to bang this sucker with a hammer remember this is reverse threaded so uh it's not righty tighty lefty loosey it's righty loosey lefty tighty as odd as that sounds so there you go uh, i'm gonna do that now all right also since i am here i figured i might as well go ahead and disconnect this radiator hose as well um just because it's kind of in the way I don't want to bust or break it or anything like that because um, I am a one paranoid mofo so let me go ahead and do that now all right so pretty much I already have this sucker out uh, just so you see there it goes this is the one that corrects to I believe it's the water pump um, simple hose same clamp nothing different same stuff <laughs> all right so just like I showed you um, I have the thing in you stick it in, I don't know if you can see that very well, but you see where it's in? It's in the fan clutch thing, uh, the fan clutch bolt. So like I said, you grab a hammer and you give that sucker a good whack, hard. Just be careful not to break any lines or anything like that because there's a bunch of stuff in the way. That's why I removed all that extra stuff. So uh, once you give it a bang, take a look at it. See how the whole fan clutch bolt is spinning with the fan clutch? That's not supposed to happen. That's how you already know it's loose and it's already coming loose now. So, next step is take this little sucker out and that sucker out. And the whole fan shroud and everything should come out together. So, that's the plan. Alright, so I already have the fan shroud loose. I just need to disconnect this, which I already have, move it away. And then, like I said, since we already broke the bolt, all you got to do is necessarily just spin this until it comes off. Let me see if I get a better focus on that. Keep spinning it, and eventually it will fall off, and you're going to grab everything together at once. All right, so you're going to see that now. I'm going to go ahead and take everything off at once so you can see. Use two hands to keep spinning this sucker. And at one point, it should be free. Hold on. Here we go. All right, it's almost out. There. So you're gonna pull everything out at once. That's the way this thing comes out. Very simple, just uh, pretty annoying. So now we got no fan. We got no uh, fan clutch uh, stuff. Uh, we took it all out. So next thing to do is try to get this radiator out, which I gotta figure that out now. What we have here is um, we, this is the oil. Uh, this is the transmission cooler. This is the tab that needs to be pulled up. Once you pull this tab up, this whole cooler should come out. Let's uh, let's give it a try. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try to take that out now. Give me one second. 
All right. All right, so it lines up. That wasn't too bad. Like I said, just pull the tab up and uh, pull up. No pun intended. Okay, there's also the second line that needs to come out too as well. Uh, just go ahead, like I said, grab the screwdriver, pop the tab up, and it should come out. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that up. And let's try to uh, dislodge it. All right, so we got the hose out. So you just dislodge, put the, push the clip back in so it doesn't go nowhere. Now from this side, we got to move to the next side. On this side, it's as simple as just go ahead and taking out this clip. Once the sensor is out, which it's missing the clip actually. Once the sensor is out, uh, next thing to do is go ahead and pull this bottom clip out. Right here. Pick it up and pull the whole thing out. Alright, so uh, next up on this, we're going to go ahead and uh, soften this up and then... This sucker should be ready to come out. Everything is disconnected and ready to go. All right, so just bear with me while I try to take this out. Oh, there's a screw here. So just a disclaimer, there is a screw here you need to take out to go ahead and take out the radiator. If you don't take that out, You'll be out of gas. All right. It's up. focus all right so so pretty much what's going on is uh we went ahead and we took out the radiator already so now that the radiator is out and i have it right there um what we're gonna do is inspect the radiator make sure everything's cool make sure there's no breaks or leaks or anything like that which i know there already is but we just want to see how bad it is all right so uh this is the radiator uh pretty much where it had cracked originally where i saw the leak was right here in the seam i don't know if you guys you guys can, cannot see it but there's a crack in there it was just pretty much just bubbling All right, so here's a close up. If you look at it closely, you're gonna see when I pull it back, it's gonna separate a little bit. It, like I said, it's really hard to see, but there's a crack right there on the edge. Okay, so now that we're looking down at the radiator, pretty much what we gotta do is there's some Torx uh, bolts, one right over here and uh, another one right over here on the side. Take those two Torx bolts out and the whole piece uh, where, this, where the expansion tank assembles is gonna go ahead and be pulled out. All right, so just a quick tip, this little O-ring right here in the, in the piece, make sure you always have that because it might come out for whatever reason, but just make sure you have that piece to be 100%. This is the whole assembly. Like I said, it took the Torx bolt there and the Torx bolt on the top corner. You pop the bottom out and then you slide it all to the top and it should come right out. So this is, there you have it. All right, so now that we have everything out, I got to take a trip to the farm and uh, go ahead to grab the radiator from my donor car and I really hope that's in good condition. If not, I'm going to be pretty bad out of luck so let's find out let's see I'm pushing the blazer today the farm um this is the donor car i have the donor car i gotta pull out the piece i need to pull out and um let's see how that goes i just finished cutting chopping down this forest behind me just trying to get this damn thing hey gotta do what you gotta do right all right so we went ahead and grabbed everything out of the donor car we have it here all the parts radiator fan shroud and i even took the transmission cooler just to take it because it's already there um, so now the next up is we got to head back home and get that shit fixed. So yeah. 
All right, and we're back at the house. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and put everything in. It's exactly the same way that we did uh, when we took it out, just in reverse. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna show you a time lapse because I've already showed you how to take it out. It's just, um, like I said, this is how we do it. All right. All right, guys, so we already finished the car. We went ahead and drove it around. Uh, no leaks. It's driving fine. Uh, I went ahead and cleaned myself up because obviously I was all filled with oil and stuff like that. Uh, but so far, so good. The car has no leaks, no issues, and it's driving great. So stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, there's going to be many more to come. Subscribe to the channel and press that like button. Peace.